to open up with a power ditto. I okay, know that landing up here into a uh, back here was so good, and I feel like the side B was meant to lead some sort of a directional air dodge, but wasn't able to get it. But he was able to get it off this time, and I love those block strings, like just by forcing the shield stun with the grenade. Such a such a great option for Ray. And right now, like, Utopian Ray is making the most out of his disjoints, out of the back air, out of the down tilt. Definitely not something to sleep on. How disjointed a lot of uh, Banjo Kazooie's moves are. Oh, the forward is enough to take out the stock. Utopian Ray already with such a great lead. Wow. Um, this time not able to get the uh, shield stun conversions. Uh, you know, Jenna was already ready with an out of shield option. And missing the neutral B, he, Utopian Ray was just a little too far above it. Right now the down throw, <gasps> that was so, that was such a hard commitment, man. That was, you know, seeing, seeing, <laughs> seeing these players go through things like that and then occasionally land it and almost land it is just nuts. Only replicate these things at home if you know exactly what the players were going for. It was just like, you know that they're going to be there at any given moment. So I love the fact that John went for it, didn't reward him. But the down smash, while surprisingly still being able to kill Utopian Ray, is sitting at 161% due to one stock lead. But the up smash, more than enough to take off Banjo's uh, stock, especially considering how ridiculously active up smash is. And right now, just a little bit of old, a little bit, a little bit of old-fashioned neutral. Um, I feel like Jun may might have been able to punish the nail with his own nail out of shield. Um, but right now, ooh, making sure that he can't land the side, be hitting him with the back air prematurely. And right now, Jen is just like keeping Utopian Ray off. He's slowly closing in the divide between them, but Utopian Ray has to find a way to reclaim center stage, like ASAP, because otherwise he's just gonna get edgeguarded to death by Jen. Like, Jen is doing a great job, by the way. Those back throws, those tilts, he's doing a phenomenal job, but right now, suddenly the tables are turned, uh, you see Ray, ooh, you know, you see Ray maybe being hungry through one of those throws because Ray can get a back throw off right about now. Ray can also get a down throw into an up tilt and that will be more than enough to kill. So this is super, super tense. And right now Ray just needs to find some sort of way to close out the stock. Jen, again with another up smash. This. You know, considering the amount of sustainability that Palutena has, I don't want to say that this is undoable for Jen. One rising neutral air can, conf can confirm into, like, just right there. Look at that, 37, 47%. It's, it's scary just how quickly the, the tables, the odds are closing in on Utopian Ray and that stock advantage is disappearing before his eyes. <gasps> Almost getting the edge cancel back here. That would have been really saucy, but I believe that was the forwarder killing him off the top like that. Wow. And, and I'm sorry guys if there were occasional breaks in my commentary. I had a dental appointment today and my mouth hurts like crazy so every now and then i just have to stop and massage my jaw so i'm, I'm very very sorry about that guys uh so shout so. out sadara for casting after doing the dental appointment yeah <laughs> god damn i came out here with the full intention to do commentary and i'll be damned if i don't do it Ooh, but right now, like, Jen is missing a surprising amount of tech so early. But regardless, he's able to get the back air into a dash attack. Um, super, super solid stuff. Classic Palutena bread and butters, just extending the damage. And I love the opt through the downfield. They're able to get a couple of up airs off, um, dealing some really, really good damage right now. But this is super scary for Utopian Ray. And I love the fact that he opted for a high recovery, able to get back to stage so effectively. Okay, and so right now, ooh, I love the fact that uh, Jen opted for an air dodge to just like pick up the grenade because uh, Ray definitely had the lead on the jump, but um, Jen was one step ahead to pick it up, dropped it, didn't want to have any funny business with it if it imploded in his own hands. Um, regardless, wow, a 
fantastic up smash coming from Utopian Way to close off the stock. Utopian Way sitting at a stock advantage right now. Granted, he is at 113%, and Palutena, all she needs is one good edge guard, one good back carry, and that's going to be it. But uh, Way is just piling and piling on the damage. Ooh, that's a missed counter. That was amazing. That's already 65% from like those projectile conversions. Like, like you just see all of the wrinkles and separate folds in Utopian Way's brain coming out. And was that a drag down nail into an up tilt? Because that was saucy. And I really, really liked that from John. That looked super, super clean. That was amazing. Just abusing the activity, like just how active uh, the up tilt on, uh, on Palutena, the, the flames are in Palutena's up tilt. But right now, Jen is at 132% off stage against Banjo. This is really, really frightening. The back air, not quite enough to kill it. Impeccable DI coming from Jen. And right now, the grenade is just super scary. He has to respect it. But Ray misspacing his back hairs ever so slightly. And the nail beating out the startup of the side B. And, and right now, Jen is going to get a little bit of extra damage off, but not able to get a throw off in time. Ray was able to mash out. And right now, Ray is standing on ledge. I love the fact that he opted for the double jump there. That's going to be an up smash. Yep. Super classic, you know, he's at 149%. There's almost no way he can even physically mash out of something like that at such a high percent. And right now, you see Ray maybe starting to run away with it just a little bit. Um, um, great awareness from Ray, just making sure to jump over the, uh, the explosive flame, not get hit by it, not get knocked up anymore, not take any extra percent. Ooh, slightly misspaced neutral out. Great punish from Jen, but still not able to fully convert off on it. You know, the fact that he was able to side B like that was only because he set up the grenade in advance. The grenade effectively prevented Jen from running up and with punishing him. So I just, I mean, that's, that was a great setup because he got off basically for free for that. Right now, you see Ray juggling Palutena, but in that case, the side beat didn't work out. It was very, very, very large over commitment, getting F smashed for it. But right now, he's still sitting at a very convincing lead, 100% positive. All he needs is a good grenade. He needs a good back air. Trying to get a two frame with a down smash, but slightly missing it. And right now, just up air into up air into up air. Jan is like, <laughs> just like in game one, he's starting to come back from this disadvantage. And again, you see Ray able to safely go through those side beats because of the way he's spacing those grenades. But that grenade, I believe, might have been unintentional. And that is going to take it out. Utopian Ray making the upset on Jan 2 0 with Banjo. That was great play from from Ray. You know, his damage output is definitely not something to sleep on. He was just like piling and piling on the percent. Oh my goodness, my jaw muscles are killing me. You know when the